Now that we know the general equations of planes, let's look at some things we can do with them. I want to find the equation of the plane parallel to the plane x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to negative 3 that passes through the point 6, 2, 5. Parallel planes lie in the same direction. That's what makes them parallel, which means anything orthogonal to the first plane will also be orthogonal to the second. So that tells me they have the same normal vectors. So parallel planes will always have the same normal vectors. The normal vector is determined by the coefficients. So my normal vector here is determined by 1 from the x, negative 4 from the y, and 2 from the z. So now I have the normal vector and the point. Using my normal vector and my point, I have 1 times x minus the x-coordinate minus 4 times y minus the y-coordinate plus 2 times z minus the z-coordinate is equal to 0. This is x minus 6 minus 4y plus 8 plus 2z minus 10 is equal to 0. Simplifying, I have x minus 4y plus 2z minus 8 equals 0. Or x minus 4y plus 2z equal to 8. And I can see the left-hand side of this equation, the one with the x, y's, and z's, matches the one of my original plane because their normal vectors are the same. The constant on the other side, negative 3 for the first plane and 8 for my new plane, are determined by the point. And in general, Parallel planes will have the same normal vectors, so they have the same coefficients of x, y, and z. The next thing I want to do is find the equation of the line passing through the point negative 4, negative 1, 1 that is perpendicular to the plane negative x plus 4y plus 5z equal to negative 4. We can see that the normal vector is given by the coefficients. So the normal vector for the plane is negative 1, 4, 5. By the definition, the normal vector is orthogonal to the plane. So this is going to be orthogonal to my plane. This right here is going to be the direction of the line that I want. Because I want a line that is orthogonal. So this tells me the direction of my line. Since I know my line passes through negative 4, negative 1, 1, I have negative 4, negative 1, 1, plus t times the direction, negative 1, 4, 5. Written parametrically, I have negative 4 minus t, negative 1 plus 4t for y, and z is going to be 1 plus 5t. I now want to find the equation of the plane that's orthogonal to the plane negative 6x plus 4y plus 4z equal to negative 5 and passes through these points negative 3, 4, 6 and 3, negative 5, 5. So this plane has a normal vector of negative 6, 4, 4 coming from the coefficients of x, y and z. However, this is not normal to the plane that I want to find because this vector is orthogonal to the plane I was given. I want my new plane, I want to find the equation of the plane that contains this vector. So this vector is in the plane that I want. In addition, I have two points and I can find the vector between them. 3 minus negative 3, negative 5 minus 4, and 5 minus 6. So I now have two point or two vectors that are in the plane. In order to find the normal vector, the orthogonal vector, 
I can take the cross product. If I take the product of negative 6, 4, 4, crossed with 6, negative 9, negative 1, I get the vector 40, 30, 30. And I didn't show the steps here, but you can work out that cross product yourself to verify this is accurate. Since only the direction of the normal vector matters and not the length, I'm going to divide this by 10 to make my numbers a little more manageable. So I have the vector 4, 3, 3. The equation of my plane is going to be 4 times x minus the x-coordinate. And I'm going to use this first point plus the second part of my normal vector times y minus the y-coordinate, which is 4, plus 3 times z minus the z-coordinate, which is 6, is equal to 0. And if you simplify this, if you work this out and move your constants to the other side, you end up with 4x plus 3y plus 3z equal to 18.